We're going to take a look at backhand technique. And remember that footwork affects technique. So you've got to get your footwork right so that you've got the same technique every time you're hitting the ball and you're not too close, not too far away, not too far back, not too far forward. So make sure you check out the video on how footwork affects technique and how you can improve that. So once you've got your footwork right and you're in position, then we've got to get the start of the swing right. So our, at the start of the swing is our preparation. So our preparation is, is mainly getting the shoulder in the right place because this, this, this shoulder is the start of our swing. It's, it's the mechanical start of the swing. So we need to get that behind the ball before we can go through it. And this is the hardest thing that everyone finds is, is getting behind the ball because the shoulder is in front of you and you're looking at the front wall and this shoulder's in front of the ball and people are trying to hit it and they're going at the ball. So we've got to get the shoulder behind. So how do we do that? Was you've really got to make sure that you're looking over your shoulder as the ball's coming in. So when you're looking over your shoulder, make sure you're looking down at the ball as well. So sometimes I see people have their shoulder pointing at the ball, but their head is up and their head is up and they're looking down under their nose and they're not actually really focusing on the ball. So make sure that your head is down and what pointing your head down also means that you push your bum out and you lean over a bit more so that when the shoulder comes back and you look down, you see what happened just there? My bum went out a bit more and my torso leant over and it, it frees up your arm a bit more so that it can come underneath and the shoulder comes back even further and I'm looking directly at the ball so I'm focusing on the ball. Now from this point, once you've got this point right, line your hand and your shoulder up together. Don't have your hand back behind your shoulder back here. We want to keep that in line with your shoulder and the point on the front wall of where you're hitting the ball. If you have it behind, that means that when you go to hit the ball, you're going out and around. You see that shape that I'm making and my arm is not straight up and down. We want our arm straight up and down so that our hand is going in a straight line. So if there was an imaginary wall here or we can use this short line, we can take our hand with the back hand, line it up, get our shoulder in line with that short line, elbow pointing. If you keep your elbow pointing along that line, you'll find that you'll it'll be much easier and you'll be able to keep your hand going in the line. As soon as you point your elbow out, your hand goes wherever your elbow is pointing, right? So if we want a hand to go in a straight line, keep your elbow pointing in a straight line. So elbow pointing in that straight line, come right back and then drop your hand down along that line and then push through. And when you drop your hand down, it straightens out before it gets to the ball and then you're going to turn your elbow back in towards yourself and then push through and keep your hand following that line. And you can set yourself up in the court and practice that. And then you want to make sure you do this, that you practice it with a line or using a guide, because if you're not using a guide, you quite often will find that, like I'll, I'll get people to do this and they'll set themselves up. And if they're not using a guide, they're like, oh, yep, that's straight. And I'm like, no, that's not straight. Like use the line or something so that you can see it or video yourself doing it. You, Quite often what you think you're doing and what you're actually doing are not the same thing. So make sure that you're using a guide or a video or something to analyze your swing and see where your hand and what you're actually doing with your body so that you can understand it more. So once you've got yourself into the start position and you've got that elbow pointing in the right place, hand in the right place, and you drop your hand down, you straighten out your arm, your elbow kind of comes back towards you, make sure the racket head is up, not pointing down and then you just push through the ball, and then if you want, you can point the end of the racket at where you want the ball to go at the end there. I'll show you a few demos.